Welcome. Thanks for joining me today. This practice is going to get into the hips and the side waist. We're going to do lots of twisting, have your blocks handy, and we're going to start standing. So when you're ready, take that spot on the top of your mat. Ground down into those feet. Spread through all ten toes. Lengthen the tailbone down. Lift the chest, draw those shoulder blades onto the back hands by the side. Take a couple deep breaths here, engaging that ujjayi pranayama. Letting that breath be nice and full, allowing yourself to come into the room, onto your mat, and into your body. Allowing yourself to become more present on your mat with every inhale and every exhale. For everyone, your breathing cycle, exhale fully. As you inhale, take the arms up. As you exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, refold. Press into the ground. Inhale, takes the arms up. And exhale, hands to heart. Two more times. Inhale, brings you up. Nice long spine. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, refold. Inhale, takes the arms all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart. Adding on a little inhale, brings you up. Exhale, grabs onto the right wrist. Take a big inhale, lengthen. And then exhale, lean just the upper body toward the left. So keep the hips stacked and shoulders stacked on top of one another. Press down through the feet and lengthen that right side. Take one more big inhale here. And then as you exhale, send those right hips toward the right. Inhale, brings you up. Exhale, releases the hands. Inhale, takes you up. Exhale, grab onto the left wrist. Lengthen through that sideways and send just the left hand leaning through the upper back toward the right. Press firmly into those feet. Draw the left shoulder back. Take one more big inhale. And then exhale, send the left hip toward the left. Inhale, brings yourself all the way back up. And exhale, hands release down. Take those feet about hip distance apart. Ground down through the feet. Inhale, takes the arms up. And exhale, hands behind the back, interlace the fingers. Inhale, lift and lengthen, open the chest. And then as you exhale, bend the knees, sit back in your chair, draw belly to thighs. Take the arms overhead, keep pressing those thumb pads together. Bend the elbows if you need to, let the head dangle. Give a little nod, yes. A little shake, no. Press those arms up one more time. And then this time as you exhale, straighten just the right leg. Keep that left leg bent and rotate the chest toward the right. Take an inhale here. Exhale, bend back into that right knee. Inhale, start to straighten that left leg. Keep the right leg bent and then lean and open toward the left. One more big inhale. Exhale, bending into both knees. Inhale here. Exhale, release both hands toward the floor. Interlink opposite hands and elbows. Let yourself just dangle. Keep the knees bent. Rock a little bit from side to side. Exhale fully. Hands release to the floor. Inhale, like the nice long spine. Exhale, refold. Inhale, takes those arms all the way up. And exhale, hands to heart. Good. Take a moment. And then stepping out nice and wide on your mat. Bring your blocks forward in case you need them. And taking a nice wide stance on your block on your mat. 
Your feet are parallel to the edges of your mat. Legs are nice and wide, and then you bring your hands to your hips. Take a big inhale, lift the heart. And then as you exhale, forward fold. Nice, long spine. And then just bring those hands down either to the floor or to the blocks to start. So shoulders right over those wrists. Press into the outer edges of the feet. Shift the hips forward slightly into the toes. And then lengthen the spine a little bit more. Draw the shoulder blades onto the back. So draw those arm bones into the shoulder sockets. Head lengthens toward the, the direction you're pointed. Breathe. And then from here, you're gonna take your left hand, draw it right underneath your chest. And I like to use the block just because it gives me more length in my spine, so I'm not worried about injuring my lower back. And I'm gonna take my right hand to my right hip. And then from here, I'm gonna press into the block, start to rotate through the chest, draw that right elbow up. And you might notice your left hip comes with you. Press into that right leg firmly and rotate a little bit more. Maybe that right hand comes to the low back and you roll the shoulder back more. Maybe that right hand comes behind and grabs onto that left hip, opening up the chest. If you start to feel more of a stretch on that left inner thigh, press firmer into that right leg. It just means your hips are going toward the right. Gaze can look toward the right or up or even down. One more big inhale. Exhale. Inhale, unwind the arm, and exhale, bring the hand back down. Take a big inhale, hit, inhale here, and then exhale, bring that right hand right underneath the chest. Take an inhale, left hand to left hip, and exhale, start to rotate. Press firmly into that left foot, keep the hip square, rotate from the shoulders, from the upper back, and then maybe hand comes to the low back. Keep drawing that left shoulder back, or maybe it finds space on the right side. Press down, lengthen forward, shift the weight slightly toward the toes, keep sending the sit bones back. One more full inhale, keep pressing into that left side. Exhale. Inhale, unwind the arm, and exhale, hands toward the floor. Take a big inhale here, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen. As you exhale, bend into the knees. Bring the heels in, toes in, until those feet are just a little bit wider than hip distance apart, and start to drop the hips. So going all the way down to Malasana. If you need the block, sit on the block, and then lift the chest. Hands are going to come to the heart center. Press those elbows into the shins or into the thighs, and just rock a little bit, and breathe. Good, one more full inhale. And exhale. Inhale, plants those hands again. Exhale, lift the hips. And then we'll heel toe those feet back out. Long and wide mats on your mat. Feet parallel to the edges of your mat. Taking the blocks again, or used to using the floor, bring them up to a little bit higher level. You're gonna extend those arms out, think downward dog facing arms. So press into those blocks. Send the hips back, let the chest drop down. And breathe. Pressing into the floor, into the blocks. Lengthen the sideways, press firmly into the outer edges of those feet. Lift up through the lower belly. Take a nice full inhale here. Exhale. One more full inhale. Exhale. Keep lengthening through the spine, and then take that right hand, bring it anywhere over toward the left. So you're going to rotate, look underneath that left arm. So this is why I like the block so that my arm can get up a little bit higher. I can always adjust the block as I need. If you can, taking that right hand all the way over to your left shin, maybe your left ankle. If that's not accessible, press it into the floor, press down into the right hand, and then rotate the chest open. Look under that left shoulder. Let that right shoulder drop heavy to the floor. One more big inhale. Exhale. Inhale brings that right arm back to the block. And exhale down. We're facing dog arms, long, open, sideways here. And then left side, taking that left hand off the block. Start to reach that left hand toward the right anywhere you can. Press into the block, press into the legs 
and then let that left shoulder drop. Look under that right shoulder. Breathing here. Grabbing anywhere you can onto the right leg if it's accessible to you. Otherwise, press into that left hand. Open the chest. One more big inhale. Exhale. Inhale, brings that hand back to the block. And exhale, come back to that downward facing dog arms. Another big inhale here. Exhale. Inhale, shifts the weight forward. Exhale, walk those blocks and hands back underneath the shoulders. Bending into the knees, walk those hands back to the top of your mat, bring your blocks along. Right foot's forward, left foot's back, nice low lunge here. Take a breath, take an inhale. Exhale. Planting those hands, inhale, steps you back, downward facing dog. Nice full inhale here. And exhale. Inhale, takes that right leg lifted to the sky. Exhale, drop the heel to the bum, open it up. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, draw knee to nose and step that foot forward. Nice low lunge, take that back heel, drop it to the ground. And as you inhale, cartwheel those hands up, warrior two. Find your nice balance in your feet and then straighten the front leg. So feet are nice and wide, heel to arch or heel to heel distance. Maybe slightly turn the toes in. Take a big inhale here. Exhale, lengthen that right arm as far forward as you can. And then hand comes down, shin block or floor. Take a big inhale, open the chest, draw the shoulder blades onto the back. Use that bottom hand, if it doesn't reach the floor, press it into the shin to open the chest. And then draw that sit bone toward your, your sit bones toward your back heel. Gaze goes up. One more full inhale. Exhale. Inhale, looking down. Exhale, bending into the knee, either elbow to thigh, hand to the block or the floor. Take a big inhale, open the chest. Draw that left hip back slightly, and exhale, draw that right hip under. Take that top arm, reach it overhead, lengthen the side waist. Create space all the way from your fingertips to your arm, to your hip, to your heel. Good, one more full inhale. Exhale. Inhale, takes that top arm up. Exhale, looking down. Inhale, press back, warrior two. And as you exhale, reverse that warrior. Take that right arm up, lean it back, press into that front leg, open that sideways, just like we did in the first stretch. Lean it back, really opening up those right ribs. Gaze can be up or down. One more full inhale. Exhale. Inhale, comes back, warrior two. Exhale, hands behind your back and underneath the fingers. Inhale, open the chest, lean it back. And exhale, release the hands. Inhale, takes the arms out. And then as you exhale, you're going to cartwheel the hands on the inside of that foot. Again, you can use your blocks if you need to. Come out at an angle. So you're coming out at that same angle as your hips. Reach those arms forward and then bow the chest. So that right hip is going to want to escape, but you want to draw it under you. So keep the legs nice and strong and lengthen through the spine. Breathe, draw up through the lower belly. Scissor those legs together, drawing those heels isometrically toward one another. Full breaths. One more full inhale. And exhale. Inhale, lengthen. As you exhale, walk the hands back. Right hand plants on the inside of the leg. Take that left arm up. Open up the chest again. Draw that right hip under, arm reaches straight up. Maybe even turn the palm behind you, bend the elbow, bring that hand behind your back. Open the chest. Maybe find your hip. If you have the bind and know the bind, taking that right arm under and binding. Press down a couple more breaths. One more full inhale. And exhale. Inhale, takes that bind away. Exhale, circles the hands to the floor. Square the hips, pause in that low lunge. Take an inhale. And exhale.
exhale. Planting the hands, inhale, steps you back, downward facing dog. Nice full inhale here. Exhale, notice right side, left side differences. Notice how that right hip feels nice and warm. Side waist is long. Exhale, fully here. Inhale, takes the left leg up to the ceiling. Exhale, drop the heel to the bottom. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, draw knee to nose and step that foot forward. Good, take the back heel, drop it to the ground. Inhale, cartwheels those hands up, warrior two. Pausing there and then inhale, straighten the front leg, grounding down into those feet. Maybe turning the back toes slightly in. Inhale here, grow long through the spine, drop the tailbone. And exhale, lengthen through that left side and taking that left hand down to the block or the floor. Press into the shin if your hand doesn't reach the block or floor. Draw those shoulder blades onto the back and lengthen the tailbone to the back heel. Nice full breaths. Press firmly into the feet, lengthen through the spine, and then start to lengthen that left side waist toward the top thigh. One more full inhale. Exhale. Inhale, looking down. Exhale, bending into that left knee. Stack knee over ankle, either elbow to thigh, hand to the block or the floor. Take a big inhale, open the chest, draw that right hip slightly back as the left hip draws under and then take that top arm overhead. Shoulder draws away from the ear, rotate the chest, look up. Press firmly into the back leg, one more full inhale. Exhale. Inhale, takes that top arm up. Exhale, gaze looks down. Press into that bottom foot, inhale, presses you back up through warrior two, and then exhale, reverse that warrior. Lean it back, open up that side waist. Nice long spine. Nice full breaths. Big inhale here. Exhale. Inhale, come back to warrior two. Exhale, hands around the back, interlink those fingers. Inhale, open up the chest, lift the heart, lengthen the hands down. And then exhale, release the hands. Inhale, lengthens them back out. And then exhale, cartwheel the hands on the inside of your foot. Lengthen those hands out with the blocks toward the top corner of your mat. And then draw that left hip under. Let the chest come forward. Lengthen out, back leg nice and active. That left knee is drawing in, heart's reaching out. Nice full breaths here. One more full inhale. Exhale. Inhale, walking those hands back, keeping the left hand on the inside of your thigh. And then next inhale, open the chest, take that right arm straight up. Draw the left hip under, right hip back. Draw the shoulder blades onto the back. And then maybe turn the palm toward the back of the room, placing the back of your hand toward your hips, or maybe binding. If you have the full bind, taking that, be mindful to roll the shoulders back. Breathe. Good, couple deep breaths here. Keep opening the chest, drawing those left ribs toward the right. Exhale fully. Inhale, takes the bind out, reach the arm up. Exhale, looking down. Inhale, circles the arm all the way down, come to that nice low lunge. Pausing there. Nice full inhale here. Exhale. Inhale, remove the blocks, plant the hands, step it back. Downward facing dog. Take a couple deep breaths. Inhaling, exhaling fully, checking in right side, left side. Noticing that left side nice and warm. Full deep breath. Exhale fully. Inhale, look toward your hands. Exhale, hop, step, or walk both feet forward. Inhale, lengthen, nice long spine. And exhale, fold. Inhale, take those arms all the way up. 
And as you exhale, sit back in your chair. Pausing there, drop those hips. Lift up through the lower belly, draw the shoulder blades onto the back. Take an inhale here. And exhale, hands to heart. Take an inhale, sit a bit lower. And then as you exhale, rotate, taking that left elbow toward the right knee. Hover and pause for a moment. Rotate through the chest. Now plant the elbow to knee and press down, rotate through the shoulders. Good, find the weight into that right foot and then step the left foot back. Good, press down, rotate a little bit deeper, lift that left hip, that left hip likes to drop down, lift it up, send the back heel back and then press and rotate more. Taking a bind or spreading the arms if you're comfortable. Keeping that bind though, keep the elbow over the knee, going into the twist. Big inhale here. Exhale. Inhale, looking down. Exhale, release both hands down to the floor blocks. Take an inhale, lengthen. And then as you exhale, drop the back heel down. Straighten the front leg. So scissor those thighs together. That back toes are going to be pointed more toward the front. Lengthen the spine and then start to hinge forward. Draw the shoulder blades onto the back. I like to use the blocks to allow my shoulder blades to come on my back. Rather than lengthening forward and rounding into my spine, I want to pull that lower belly in. Really scissor the legs, get into that front leg. Big inhale here. And exhale. Inhale, lengthens you out. And then exhale, you're going to place either that block on the inside of your foot, place your hand on your shin, or take that hand to the outside of your foot. So left hand to the outside of the right foot, right hand to the right hip, draw that right hip back, scissor the legs together, grow the legs nice and strong, and then start to rotate. So press down to rotate, and then maybe top arm reaches. If that's too much for you, keep your hand on your hip, roll the shoulder blades onto your back. Scissor those legs, press down, and then lean away from the right. Take that top hand, maybe look up to it. Big inhale here. Exhale. Inhale, looking down. Exhale, both hands down. Take an inhale, lengthen out. Exhale, bend into the front knee. Inhale, steps the front foot, or the back foot to the front. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, brings you all the way up. And exhale, sit you back into that chair. Drop the hips. Pull in through the lower belly. Let the shoulder blades draw away from the ears. Inhale, hands to heart. As you exhale, rotate to the left. Hover first. Find some length in the spine, and then exhale, elbow to knee. Press down, lengthen, open the chest, find some weight in that left leg, and then on your next inhale, step the right leg back. Ground down, open the chest, lift that right hip slightly, lengthen through the back heel. Press down, open any form of the binds that you'd like to go into is here. Maybe challenge your balance, look up. One more full inhale. Exhale. Inhale, looking down. Exhale, release the hands to the floor or the blocks. Inhale, lengthen, nice long spine. Exhale, step that back foot slightly in and up. Toes point to the front of the mat. Square the hips, scissor the legs, lengthen the spine, and then start to hinge forward. Shoulder blades draw onto the back. Drawing that left hip back, right hip forward. Find some nice length in the spine. Inhales will lengthen you. Exhales fold you. One more full inhale. And exhale. Inhale, lengthen, nice long spine. Exhale, taking that right hand either to the inside or the outside of that left foot. Taking that left hand to the left hip, press into the bottom hand, rotate through the shoulders, scissor the legs together, open the chest. Lengthen the side waist on the left side, and then maybe left arm reaches. Press down to reach up, shoulder blades onto the back. 
Maybe challenge that balance look up. Keep scissoring those legs. Draw in through the lower belly. Good, one more full inhale. Exhale. Inhale, slowly looking down. Exhale, bring both hands down. Take a big inhale, lengthen. And as you exhale, bend in the front knee, step that back foot to meet the front. Big inhale, lengthens you. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen. And exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen here. As you exhale, bend the knees, plant the hands to the floor, step it back, downward facing dog. Nice full inhale. And exhale. Inhale, takes the right leg up to the sky. Exhale, drop the heel to the bottom, open it up. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, release that foot to the ground. Inhale, takes the left leg up to the ceiling. Exhale, drop the heel to the bottom. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, draw that foot to the ground. Inhale, shift your weight forward. Exhale, drop the knees and come to seated. So sitting up nice and tall. You're gonna come to seated here and then we're gonna go into a little bit of more deeper hip flex stretches. We're gonna hold a little bit longer. So taking those legs, extend them out. Take your right ankle, cross it over your left knee. Bring the hands back behind you. Keep a little bit of bend into the elbows and start to draw that left knee in. Keep the right leg flexed. Keep that shin parallel to the front of your mat and then start to press your chest toward that leg. So seated pigeon, seated figure four. Start to draw that right hip slightly forward. And the more you need the stretch, you can walk your bottom leg in. Keep pressing the chest toward that leg. Breathe. Good, shoulder blades drawn to the back. Keep a little bend in the elbows. Big inhale here. Exhale. Inhale, slowly start to lengthen that leg back out. And then release that leg and go to the opposite side. Left leg crosses over. Sit up nice and tall, hands behind you, and start to lean it back. Draw the weight more toward the right. Let that left hip lengthen forward. Flex the foot and then start to press the chest toward that shin. Draw the head back and breathe. As the stretch lessens, walking in that bottom leg, you're gonna get a little deeper stretch in the hip. One more full inhale. And exhale. Inhale, bending into those elbows. Exhale, extending the legs out. Going a little bit deeper. So you have options. You can do one leg at a time. You can use your blocks for props. So you're gonna take your right leg, make it parallel to the top of your mat. So your shin is parallel to the top of your mat. Flex your foot. Taking that left foot, see if you can place it on top of the knee. Flex the foot and then dropping that knee down. So if you need more support here, you have blocks, you have bolsters, you can place that, that um, support there. And then you're gonna breathe. Keep flexing the feet. And then you might need support here. Maybe that block needs to be here so you can sit up tall. As you notice, I'm working into my hips still. So keep flexing your feet. If your ankle and your knee on both sides are touching, you can start to fold forward. If you feel like this is way too much for your bottom knee, you can take that bottom, shin and draw in just so it's out of the way of your hip so you can start to get into that top leg so you have that option it's not as intense but you want to try and stay here if you can i like to really hold on to my feet to remind myself to flex my feet so i keep my knees active getting into the hips rather than letting my knee take the force of me trying to open my hips too soon and breathe Good, one more big inhale. And exhale. Inhale, hug the top knee in. Extend the top, bottom leg out. Bring both legs out, give them a little shake. Opposite side. So this time the left shin's gonna be equal to the top of your mat, so your shin's flexed. Taking that right ankle, place it over the left knee. 
Sit up nice and tall. Use any props you need to here. Flex the feet and breathe. So sitting up nice and tall. If your knees and your ankles are touching on both sides, your feet are flexed, then start to hinge forward. If they're not, don't hinge forward. That's going to cause too much um, pressure in the, in the hips, and your knees then are going to take over that pressure, and they're going to be a little bit strained. So you want to keep your knees happy. And breathe. If you find that this is a challenging pose, I have an awesome sequence on hips and hamstrings that you can do daily. It's only 15 minutes and this is in there. And it goes through different phases of this pose. This pose is fire log pose. Burns up all that heat in your hips. Helps you open it. Two more breaths. Exhale fully. Inhale, go ahead and hug that top knee in, take the bottom leg out, give those legs a little shake. And then we're going to make our way to the floor. Let's go ahead and roll down onto your back. And from here, you're going to take your right leg over your left, and then you're going to hug both knees into your chest. So again, getting a little deeper into the hips, so the knees are going to be a little bit more relaxed here. So lengthen the tailbone down, draw the shoulders down, hug the knees in. Try to keep your knees into your chest. Don't let them roll up to the ceiling. Keep them into your chest. And see if you can bring your hands towards your shins. Flex the feet. And then draw the heels away from one another toward the outer edges of your mat as you lengthen your hips toward the bottom of your mat. Keep hugging the knees in. For those that can, maybe you're holding onto the pinky edges of your feet, kind of like handlebars, and drawing those toes closer toward your head. You're going to feel a nice stretch in that, in that right hip, but keep the knees close to the chest. Taking the knees toward the ceiling doesn't really do much. Breathe. And always just hugging your knees in here is an awesome pose. Exhale fully. Inhale, release the legs, place the left foot on the ground, shift your hips toward the right. Keep your legs crossed, and then drop your knees toward the left. So getting into a twist here, a little deeper twist. Keep that right shoulder on the ground. You can always use that left hand anywhere along that top leg to help you deepen the twist. Keep drawing in through the lower belly, lengthen the tailbone. Two more breaths here. Exhale fully. Draw into the lower belly, lift the knees back to center. Unwind those legs. Bring those hips back to center, pause there for a moment. And then take that left leg over the right. Hug the knees in, squeeze them in, pause there. Just notice how that feels, flex the feet. If you wanna go a little deeper, hands to shins, draw the heels away from one another, relax the shoulders, keep knees coming into chest. Breathe here. If you can go a little further without letting those knees go to the ceiling, reach for the pinky edges like handlebars. Draw the heels away, flex the feet, lengthen the tailbone toward the end of your mat. Try to relax the shoulders. And then check in with that breathing. Make sure it's still nice and full. Exhale fully. As you inhale, release the legs. Exhale, place that right foot on the ground. Shift the hips slightly toward the left, and then let those knees drop toward the right. Why don't we come all the way down, keep that left shoulder on the floor, so balancing it out, drop in through the lower belly. Nice full breaths here. See if you can lengthen that left side waist, Dropping that left hip down toward the heels as you keep drawing that lower belly in. Two more breaths here. Exhale fully. Draw in through the lower belly. Inhale, lifts the knees. Exhale, unwind those legs. Bring the hips back to center. Pause here for a moment. 
And then taking those knees, draw them into the chest, give them a little squeeze. And then opening those knees wide, grabbing onto the pinky edges of the heel edges, coming into happy baby. Draw the knees down, lengthen the tailbone, resist the feet and hands against one another, and then rock a little bit from side to side. Releasing through the lower back and the hips. Exhale fully. Go ahead and release those legs, even a little shake up to the ceiling. And then slowly return those feet to the ground. Pausing there for a moment. And then extending those legs out into Shavasana. Let those toes drop out to the sides of the mat. Lengthen the tailbone. Palms are turned up, arms are by the side. Press into those elbows, tuck those shoulder blades onto the back a little bit more. And then release those shoulders to the floor. Lift the chin slightly to the ceiling. And then getting out any little wiggles that you need to so you can rest comfortably with a nice long spine on the ground. And then wherever you are in your breathing cycle, exhale fully. Take a slow inhale. Fill the belly, let the belly rise. Let the chest and rib cage expand. Hold the breath at the top. And then open the lips and sigh it out. Let your breathing come back to normal. Let yourself surrender into Shavasana. Lying here just a few more moments. Keeping your body and mind in the same room. Focusing on your relaxation, on your breath. Allowing yourself to surrender completely. Taking rest. On your next breath, just come in slightly deeper. On your next breath, bring some movement into the fingers and toes, maybe even the wrists and ankles. On your next breath, reach your arms back behind your head, slide your feet together, give yourself a long stretch. And then slowly bend the knees, keep reaching the arms back, make the feet as wide as your mat. And then as you exhale, drop both knees to the left. Inhale, bring them up to center. And then exhale toward the right. Again, inhale, center. Exhale, left. Inhale, center. Exhale, right. Inhale, brings those knees back to center. And then exhale, hugging them into the chest. Drawing your knee toward your nose, rounding the spine. And then releasing the head, using your arm as a pillow, roll over to your favorite side, pausing there. Take a moment, scan over the body, check in with the mind. And then when you're ready, using that top arm, press into the floor, extend the top leg, press yourself up mindfully, coming all the way back up to a comfortable seat. Once you've found that comfortable seat, Allow your eyes to close if they've opened. Allow the hands to come back to the heart center. Bring yourself into the room, onto your mat, into your body. Hold 
We'll seal this practice in with one ohm. Take a nice full inhale in. Oh. Bow your head slightly. Take a moment, think of one thing in your life that you truly are grateful for. Then ask yourself if there's any way you could make that better in your life. See that happening in your mind's eye as you raise your head with a smile. Thank you for joining me. Drink lots of water, eat your veggies, wear some sunblock today, and we'll see you next time. Namaste.